Hello, good children. Welcome back to our online lessons. Monda Hamid is my name. Uh, so we are going to move on from where we stopped and uh, lesson 27. So this is now lesson 28. And now remember I told you whenever you are writing work, indicate the number of the lesson. Say this is lesson 20, this is lesson 21. It will help us for, uh, to, to follow up. And when you are doing work, try to be neat. Try to avoid any disturbance. Concentrate, learn well, and then do uh, So, my dear children, today's lesson uh, is uh, very simple and interesting. We are going to look at uh, writing the shaded and unshaded fractions. Meaning we, uh, we experience, we are going to face uh, some diagrams, illustrations, whereby a certain number is shaded and a certain number is not shaded. What we are going to do is, uh, we are going to write, we are going to look at these diagrams and then we see how do we find the shaded and how do we find the unshaded. I think you can see our number one is drawn uh, and then some part uh, is shaded and another is not shaded. So how do we write that fraction? First of all, the fraction has two parts, the numerator and the denominator. Now, which is supposed to, to be the numerator and which one is supposed to be the denominator? I'm just going to explain that. Then, my good children, we shall be ready uh, to do the work. Now, what do we do first? We first of all count the number of parts in the whole diagram. And the number of parts in the whole diagram will give us the denominator. Are you getting me, children? What do we do first? Count all the parts that make up the whole diagram. For example, this one. How many parts are there? We have one and then two. So this whole diagram is made of two parts. And the number of parts that make up a diagram will give us the denominator, will be the denominator. Then the numerator will be the required number either shaded or unshaded. So when we count this one, two, we come and say this is equal to, now you draw that line. But first of all, you counted this, and this one is giving us the denominator. So we shall write two here. Then what will be the numerator? You go back and count how many now parts are shaded. How many are shaded? One. So the shaded fraction here is a half. We get that, children? What about the unshaded? We are moving with both things together. Because in each illustration, there is that shaded and unshaded. What is the meaning of the word unshaded? The word unshaded means uh, not shaded. Unshaded, not shaded. Meaning, we also look for the parts that are not shaded. So you're going to come here and still do the same. The denominator will be equal to the number of parts that make up the whole illustration. So this one has one, two, meaning our denominator is two. What about the numerator? Now we are looking for unshaded parts that are not shaded. So this is also one. So meaning the shaded is a half and also the unshaded is a half for that illustration. And after that I underline, after uh, getting the shaded and also the unshaded. Can we look at the second example? What is the first step, my good children? Count the number of parts in the whole illustration or in the whole diagram. So can we count together? We count by indicating them, by writing them. Get your pencil and indicate them. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the whole diagram is made up of six parts. And I remember 
the number of parts in the whole diagram will be the denominator. So when I come here, I will say, I will first draw that, then I write the denominator first. Okay? Then after that, what is the question now? Share the parts. So you come back and, write and count how many of six are shaded. One, two, three, four. So the numerator will be four. And what is this fraction in words, my children? This is four sixth. So four sixth is shaded. Now when we go to unshaded, remember, unshaded means parts that are not shaded. So what do we do first? First of all, get the denominator. And the denominator will be uh, the parts that make up the whole diagram or the whole illustration. So can we count again to be sure? Can we count together all the parts? One, two, three, four, five, six. So our denominator will be six. Then go and count. What are we looking for? Unshaded, meaning parts that are not shaded. So how many are they? One, two. I think you can see clearly. Parts that are not shaded are two. So our numerator here will be two. And what is the fraction now in words? The unshaded fraction is two sixths. Then the shaded fraction is four sixths. Do you see that, my good children? I think this is very easy work. Very, very easy. Can we go right out the next number? Are you observing the diagram clearly? Yes. So what do we do first? Count all the parts before even going to shaded or unshaded. First of all, count all the parts in the whole um, diagram. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten so this whole diagram is made of ten parts and now what do you do come here and first of all write that down that the number of all parts in the diagram will give us the denominator of the fraction that you are looking for whether shaded or unshaded now how many parts are shaded? Of 10 now. Because we have already got the denominator. So how many are shaded now? We go back to our illustration and count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 6 tenths. That is 6 tenths. What about the unshaded? We still do the same. Come back and say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what will 10 be, the numerator or the denominator? 10 will be the denominator first. Then how many parts are not shaded? Unshaded means not shaded. So we go to our diagram again and count of the 10 parts. How many are unshaded? How many are not shaded? So we shall come and count them. One, two, three, four. So the unshaded is four tenths. I don't expect someone to say four out of ten after learning how to write fractions in words in our previous lesson. So you will be able to say, when you meet this, you will just say, this is six tenths. Don't say six out of ten. Or six over ten. All those ones are not right ways of uh, telling fractions, of saying fractions. This is four sixths. This is two sixths. This is six tenths. This is four tenths. Just like that. Uh, now, my good children, I hope you have learned all the steps of writing fractions, shaded and unshaded. So I want you, good children, to go and do uh, this wonderful activity very smartly. I have given you how many numbers? One, two, three, four, five. You are just going to continue. You write this, reach here, then you are going to continue this as your activity. You are going to be counting the shaded fraction and unshaded fraction. And remember to follow the steps I've given you in my examples. Then after that, 
I have changed a little by telling you to shade fractions. Now, which, we, what do we shade? This numerator here is the number of parts that you are supposed to shade. So meaning, this one down is the same, to, is equal to the number of parts in the whole diagram. So this one is the whole diagram, and so you are going to shade three parts out of the five parts. Then when you come here, you have seven. So meaning you are this numerator is the number of parts that you are supposed to shade. So my good children, I want you to concentrate, do this work well, and we shall meet again in the next lesson. Thank you for learning. Bye-bye.